Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we're looking at 7 decimal 3 absolute value equations. So uh, in the last section we looked at functions. Functions are when uh, f of x is equal to y, right? Um, an absolute value equation, we replace that y with 0. So I was just solving basically for the um, uh, variable x, right? So we put y in as 0. Okay, so the solutions or, or uh, roots of an absolute value equation represent the zero to the x-intercepts. Um, keep the following points in mind uh, before attempting to solve an absolute value equation. Remember, uh, all the a values have to be greater than or equal to zero, so then that means the x values can be plus or minus, right? Because if you're taking the absolute value, um, so it's plus or minus. So, for example, if you have the absolute value of x is equal to 4, that means that x cannot can be plus or minus 4. All right, so I've done this with a two uh, a two by two system. I have y equals uh, f of x. I have y equal to four. And in the intersection, you can see two points here: negative four and positive four. So that illustrates that example. Okay. Let's look at example one. Solve the equation x minus three is equal to five graphically. So I'm going to get my graphing calculator out. So I've uh, used Desmos, um, put them in as two separate functions, left-hand side, right-hand side. So y equals absolute value of x minus 3, y is equal to uh, 5, and there's your two solutions. And that's all you need. So again, you could use a table of values to graph that, right? Just plugging these values in here. Okay, and when you do so, um, uh, you'll guess negative 4 subtract 3 is negative 7, absolute value is 7. Uh, and then you continue down, you get 5, and we get negative, you get 3, and 1, uh, 0, 1, 3, 5, and 7, right? Okay. Let me do the same thing here, and obviously it's 5, so it's just going to be all 5s um, here, right? And five break down the board. Okay. Right. So the ones that are the same are your intersection points here and here. Right. As you're going to see in the graph that I uh, looked at. Oh. Graphically, here's your solution. Um, so this two a value that will work would be negative two because negative two subtract three is negative five. Absolute value of negative five is five. And 8 subtract 3 is 5, and the absolute value of 5, right? So pretty straightforward. Algebraically, um, what you would do is you would take uh, this, and remember it's plus and minus the value, right? So um, it's going to be plus and minus a. So x minus 3 would be considered the x here, and the a would be considered the 5. So to solve that, you would uh, solve, put the equation in. We need an absolute value symbol. Right, um, so we have x minus 3, right, and that's equal to 5. That's the given equation that we have. All right, so to solve this, we'll take the x minus 3, so whatever's underneath the absolute value, so x minus 3, and that's going to equal plus or minus 5. Oh, plus or minus, sorry about that, 5. Okay? And then, obviously, because it's plus or minus, then we got to split them. So that means we have x minus 3 is equal to 5. We also have x minus 3 is equal to negative 5. So we add 3 to both sides. We get x equal to 8 for our first value, which we saw up here. 8. And we obviously know y is 5 because it's just a straight line. y equals 5, right? It's just a, a horizontal line. And um, x was also equal to negative 2. We added 3 to both sides, um, which you see here in your graph. Uh, so I'll move that down. That's actually uh, going to be step two, right? Solving the two equations. So just applying the principle that we learned, right? 
So drop the absolute value sign, and um, then you plus or minus the right-hand side of the equation. Verify each solution using the original equation. All right, so we just take the original equation. Uh, this is what I did when we were working through it to verify, right? So we'll verify both. Um, and we put our x value in at 8, and we put our x value in at negative 2. Uh, so we have the absolute value of 5 is equal to 5, and we have the absolute value of negative 5 is equal to 5, and obviously 5 is equal to 5 in both uh, scenarios. Okay, and that's it. So, uh, just like many of the other functions we've solved for over the uh, entirety of the course, you're also going to end up with uh, extraneous roots and solutions. So, a number obtained when you solve the equation that does not necessarily satisfy the restrictions on the variable. Um, so, that will, uh, will happen, right, uh, uh, sometimes. So, it says solve the following equation. Algebraic, we have the absolute value of x minus 3 minus x minus 5 is equal to 0. Solve this algebraically. So the first thing we do is isolate the term containing the absolute value. So you can't just isolate x, so you just isolate the absolute value sign. So anything that's not within the absolute value sign, you're going to take to the uh, right-hand side. So I'll recopy this. So the x and the, the negative x and negative 5 has to go to the other side. So that becomes x plus 5. All right. And now, um, step two, we apply the principle, right? So, um, x is, minus 5 is going to equal to the, and then this whole thing has to go in brackets because there's more than one term. So it's going to be the plus or minus here. All right, so we got to be mindful of that. So it's going to be the plus or minus. All right, and step, uh, so that'll split to two, right? So equation one will be uh, the positive of that. So that's just the one that we were when we solved. So it's just going to be x plus 5. And then the second equation, okay, the second equation will be the same one. Oh, we get rid of the absolute value sign, so x minus 5. All right. Be, or the x minus 3, sorry. And then here, we have the x minus 3, but it's going to be equal to the negative side, okay? So it'll be negative bracket x minus 3. So those are the two equations, and we're going to solve them both. So the first equation, we subtract x from both sides, um, right? Subtract x from both sides, and we uh, add 3 to both sides. We get... A mess, obviously, right? So we're going to get 0x is equal to 8. Alright? And that's no good. So we divide by 0. Divide by 0. Which we know we can't do. I'm just showing you where it goes. We get x equals undefined, right? And then equation two, do the same thing. So we uh, first thing we do is we're going to subtract x. And I'm not sure we should subtract 5. That's key, right? Because you're multiplying by the negative. So it's negative times x, negative times negative, uh, sorry, positive 5 would be negative 5. So we're add x to both sides. So when we add the x to both sides and uh, add 3 to both sides, we'll get 2x and 3 is gone. Add it to here. And uh, we add 3. And then we get 2x is equal to negative 2. And then obviously we divide both sides by 2, and we get x is equal to negative 1. 
Okay. All right. So remember when we're checking, we um, we're going to let x equal negative 1. Let x equal negative 1. So we see x, we plug it in. Remember, always plug it in the original. So negative 1. Negative 1, all right? Uh, so it's going to be s of value negative 4 is equal to 1 minus, or sorry, equal to 1 plus 1 minus 5. x of value negative 4 is 4. Uh, 4 plus 1 uh, minus 5 is 0. All right, so 5 minus 5, 0, 0, is equal to 0. Okay. So that just shows um, that both sides are equal, and it will have to be. All right. Um, and that's it. Um, I think we'll stop there for this video. And in the next video, what we'll do is we'll start with um, example four uh, to finish off uh, seven decimal trick. All right, folks, thanks for watching, and we'll be in touch.